Hi everyone, hope this vlog finds everyone in the best of health. We welcome you all to our STEM experiment part 1. This is Mads and I also have Addy with me. Addy, say hi. Hi. And you're watching us on our YouTube family channel, Mike and Mads m, &M. What is STEM? STEM stands for Science, Technology, Experiment and Maths. And why is it important for toddlers and preschoolers? Well, uh, STEM plays an important role in our day-to-day -day life. And when we show these uh, easy experiments to toddlers and preschoolers, it definitely enhances their creativity, boosts their brain development and also generates curiosity that how things work. And uh, obviously, toddlers and preschoolers will not understand uh, the chemical reactions which happen or the exact science behind it. However, it is a kind of an indoor activity which can work as uh, magic for them. Before I begin the first STEM experiment, just want to quickly take a moment to thank each one of you who has already subscribed to our channel, who take out time, watch our videos and like them. If you're watching this video, then please do not forget to give us a thumbs up. And if you have still not subscribed to our channel, then please do hit that subscribe button. So let's begin with the first STEM experiment. We will be preparing a lava lamp. So for preparing the lava lamp, you just need uh, a glass container. I am taking a glass bottle. You can also take a mason jar or any other glass jar. So first I'll be pouring water. I'll mention the quantities alongside that uh, what quantity is required for each ingredient. Then I'll be putting vegetable oil to it. You can use food colouring. I do not have food colouring available at home, so I am using uh, glass colours. So our mixture is ready and now to start the magic, what I have done, I have uh, mixed baking soda in vinegar and I will be pouring it into the solution. So if you see our uh, lava lamp has started working and the bubbles have started accumulating on the top. So why this happens? Obviously uh, the toddlers or preschoolers would not understand the science behind it. However, if you are doing uh, this experiment with your older kids, then to make them understand baking soda when it reacts with water, it produces carbon dioxide and carbon dioxide being a gas is lighter in weight. So it accumulates on the top of the second STEM experiment that we will be doing is lemon fizz experiment for which I am taking lemon herbs and uh, you can use food coloring. I am again using glass colors of uh, different shades. So what I have done, I have just cut uh, lemons into half and with the help of a skewer or a spoon, you can just uh, make little insertions in the lemon. After which we will be pouring the uh, different colors to it. And pour drop wise, little little drops. Hmm, small problems. You can use a tray beneath while doing this experiment because this is gonna be a little messy. experiment that you can do with your kids. Now I will just be pouring baking soda on it. And let's see the magic begin. I want it to. Yes. Put, put on the screen. Huh? So this is how the fizz will start coming. Now the science behind it again. Uh, because lemon has citric acid and when uh, sodium bicarbonate that is baking soda reacts with it, it produces carbon dioxide which is again a gas and it fizzes and produces bubbles. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you like the experiments. Do try these fun experiments with your kids. I'm sure they're gonna love it. And stay tuned for part 2. Till we meet again. Bye bye. Adi say bye. Bye.